This is about to be a fun video, y'all. <laughs> So today in this video, I'm gonna help anybody who's going on their first appointment and they don't know what to expect, they don't know what to pack. Don't worry, I'm here for you. So the first thing that I'm gonna suggest that you do is buy plenty of the basics. And when I say basics, I mean like your t-shirts. Um, you're gonna need to buy your t-shirts, plenty of socks, um, plenty of underwear and I say this because you know about three four months into deployment you know people start stealing and you like they not gonna steal my underwear yes they will they will steal your underwear okay so you need to make sure you buy plenty of the basics okay like an excess you might think it's too much, but it's not. It's not too much. The next thing that I'm going to suggest that you bring toilet paper. And I know this sounds crazy. Like, why would I need to bring toilet paper? Like, the ship has toilet paper. Right at first, the ship has toilet paper. But, you know, a couple months in, they just be shocked. Like, they don't got enough toilet paper. And you sitting there like, I need to wipe my butt. So what you need to do is get you, you know, maybe four or five rolls, you know, nothing excessive, you know, but some extra toilet paper. Or what you could do is you could take a couple rolls and put them in your rack. Not saying that I've done that before. The next thing that I'm gonna suggest is snacks, food you need it okay because the ship store it's gonna run out of stuff and it might not even have the stuff in there that you really want so buy your own stuff be prepared okay because it's gonna be rough out there you're gonna be missing home you'll be missing good food because you're gonna only be eating the ship food that's another video but you're gonna be just eating ship food and you're gonna need some pick-me-ups okay the galley line some days is gonna be long. And you're not gonna wait in that, or you're not gonna have enough time to wait in the galley line. So you gotta have your own food, you gotta be prepared, you gotta be ready, because it's hungry out there. This is not something that you could bring, but just a suggestion, get you some supply, get you some supply friends. You need a CS friend, you need a SH friend, and you need a LS friend. Okay, let me tell you why you need these people. You need a CS friend because the CS is make the food on the ship, right? You wanna eat early, you don't wanna wait in line. You need that CS connect, you know, that'll bring you a plate. An SH, the SHs wash um, the clothes, they run the barbershop. You need, you know, if you want to get your hair cut, this is for the dudes, and you don't want to wait in line, you can help your homeboy and be like, hey, can you cut me up real quick? Or if you need some uniforms washed, you know, instead of waiting for the ship laundry, because ship laundry is trash. It's horrible, it's horrible. Normally there's like, well on my ship there was three washers, three dryers. They didn't always all work. And everybody's waiting to use them. Everybody on the ship is using them. You do the math about the line. And an LS friend. That's me. <laughs> you need an LS friend because LS is, we are the plug. All the uniforms, you know, pens, paper, anything that's a supply item, we get. boots, etc. You know, so anything that you need, we can get it for you. Hold on. Not anything. Let me not put that expectation out there. We can't get you anything, okay? But we can hook you up. That's all I'm saying. Another thing, um, you're gonna need a laptop and a hard drive. And I say this because there's gonna be downtime and you're gonna wanna lay in your rack and watch movies, right? So you need the hard drive to put your movies on there, but also you can get movies from other people like 
all the new movies that come out, somehow when you underway, somebody gets the new movies. I don't know how they do it, but somehow somebody gets the new movies and then everybody's like, ooh, let me get that, borrow the hard drive, put it on yours, and now you got it. It's just, you just trade. I got so many movies when I went on deployment. The hookup. I also think it would be beneficial if you got your own blanket and pillow because the 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 blanket and pillow that they give you on the ship is is horrible. The pillow always is like is hard and it's lumpy and there's always feathers coming out of it sticking you in your head, and then the blanket that they give you don't really keep you warm. It's just kind of there. So to make things, you know, easier to be more comfortable, get you a blanket and a pillow. Um, I don't know if you can have sleeping bags. I know when my ship went to um, Norway, they let us get sleeping bags, but I don't know if it's authorized on all ships. You have to just ask. But sleeping bag also helps. It adds more cushion for your bed because them racks and my last tip is when you're going on deployment this mostly goes to us girls when you go on deployment girls do not overpack outfits okay don't do it you only need a couple your rack is only so big and then you know you're gonna go shopping when you get there so why set yourself up for failure? Because I have. Look, you just need a couple of outfits. Just a couple. Unless, unless you have a storeroom where um, you're allowed to put some of your extra stuff in, then okay, then you're good. That doesn't really matter. But if you don't have an extra storeroom to put your stuff in, do not overpack because your rack is gonna be stuffed. You ain't gonna have no room to bring stuff back. Make sure you buy souvenirs, you know, don't just go out to these ports and just drink, even though drinking is authorized. Um, <laughs> depending on your age. Most times overseas, drinking age is... Most of the time overseas, the drinking age is 18, but you know, your CO is gonna put all that out before y'all go on liberty. Um, but yeah, just don't don't overpack clothes. Just trust me on this. Just trust me. Don't overpack. So this was just a couple of tips on your first deployment, what to bring. Um, there's also other things you can bring, but you know, I don't want this video to be too long. So if you have any questions about deployment at all, I'm here for you. So please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and I will get back to you with the T. Okay? Okay. Um, I have a lot of funny deployment stories too. So if you guys want to hear any of those, comment down below. Like this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see y'all in my next video.